So we are running a little bit behind schedule. We are taking my dad back down to Duke where he had his surgery. Um, we spoke with the surgeon's nurse yesterday about the wound and how it keeps draining. And now that the fluid is starting to get a little pinkish and reddish, we need to take him back in. Plus, we need to see about getting this catheter changed out or out completely. And he has this horrendous rash all down his leg now. So they want to check him out about all these things. So let's get him back down to where it all started and see what they can do for us. Boomer, I've been petting you all morning. I have work to do now, okay? You're gonna fall, you're gonna fall. You're not a graceful animal. <clears throat> well, good morning, everybody. It's uh, Tuesday morning, and um, I'm gonna, I gotta get this floor done. It's killing me. I spent the entire day trying to put one tile down because of the unevenness of the floor and the, the, how large my tiles are. The tiles are just too big for this uneven floor. So I don't want to grind anymore because it creates so much dust, it creates such a mess. But I gotta probably grind the back of a tile and that might break it. So we'll see how that works out. And there's Boomer. And this is what I see all day long. Not gonna do it. She Hi, I'm Natalie. <laughs> and I'm how old are you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we had an appointment down at Duke University today with my dad because his wound is still leaking fluid very badly, I may add. We're changing him like five or six times a day. A uh, couple of times in the middle of the night. So they wanted to see the wound and the rash that he has. So we went down there and they taught me how to pack the wound. So I have to now, not only changing his, his bandages, I have to take gauze and the, a Q-tip and push the gauze into the wound. And um, the wound is going to get a little bit bigger before it gets smaller because it's got to, it's gonna open up for me to get the gauze in there and it's gonna heal from the inside out at this point. So I am working on that. I'm gonna to have to teach my mother and my sister how to do that because at some point I do have to go home. <laughs> I do have to have my surgery. But we have another appointment tomorrow with my mother for what is your appointment for? The heart doctor. For the heart doctor to see about whether or not she's going to be able to have her knee surgery, but her carotid artery, that's in here, right? In the neck, yeah. Her carotid artery is in bad shape, so she may have to have that surgery first. So we'll see. And Pa, who's falling asleep over there, um, we're get, taking him to see the urologist tomorrow, hopefully to get the catheter out, and hopefully it will stay out. Okay, so I've been working on the floor pretty much all day today. Pretty tired. I'm down to my last cut. And that's two cuts around this cabinet. And I'm tired. And I'm gonna put some short tiles in the back so that the stove can go all the way to the back and fill in these last two tiles and I'm done for the We're day. We're back with another story from The Lone Wolf. Hi everybody. Well this is a story dating way back 
when Karina was five years old, and we lived in a an apartment at a gas station. There was a gas station out of the house there, and we lived in that apartment there. One day I went out to help the owner, Charlie, deliver a car and pick one up. So his wife, Aggie, was taking care of the gas station, you know, because they had the bottom of the apartment uh, in the basement. They had a kitchen set up and all that. So she was watching Karina. And Karina was sitting at the table in there. And her son went to take the 22 rifle down off the rafters in the, in the basement area. And he had thrown it to a guy, and the guy put it back in. Well, they never made sure it wasn't loaded. When he took it down, it hit the stock against his leg, and the gun went off. And it hit the floor and ricocheted up. And at that time, Karina just looked in there towards him. And she got one little piece by the nose, uh, just missed her eye. And another piece, the main piece, got her right up in the forehead. I could see blood from anybody. It didn't bother me. But when I seen my own uh, kid there, I, I went all faint and everything, and I almost blacked out. And I couldn't, you know, we had to rush to the hospital. And, of course, we had a thing, you know, tell people what happened. And people went to visit her in the hospital, and she's jumping up and down. And, I got shot in the head. I got shot in the head. You know, like she's on a trampoline. <laughs> but uh, she had a scar, a little scar up there. The other piece worked its way out of the nose. And she's got a little scar up on her forehead. Uh, I don't know how visible it is now. That's another little story from the Lone Wolf's family blog. <laughs> Karina. What? You were happy you got shot in the head with a twenty-two. Yeah, that's what's wrong with me. That's what it's been all these years? Some brains spilled out. I think a lot of brains must have spilled out. Nah, just a couple. So anyway, the moral of the story is always make sure the, the weapon is empty. Yep, you know, definitely. And it wasn't. Okay, so I got uh, a lot of the floor done. All the way up to the stove. It's got a little section here so that we can walk into the bedroom from the front room. There's Boomer stalking me as usual. Let a few giant flies in during the process of all of this. I'm exhausted. I go sleep now. Come hang out with me now, Boomer. Yes, I have my fly swatter. Okay, so we are getting some storms again tonight. Oh, <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> it's not raining yet. It's not a lot of thunder, but the lightning is striking. Ooh, I saw a streak on that one. That was a good one. What do you think, Crystal? There you go. Hi. Think we're going to get a good storm? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of people said that they're very proud of you, and congratulations on getting such a good schedule and getting a goal set. Thank you. All right, so I have one last thing I want to do today before I call it quits. I want to uh, fill these holes. For those of you who remember my holes in the wall vlogs and more holes in walls, I have all these circular holes in the back splash behind the stove and uh, along with other holes that I had to drill for various reasons. And uh, before I put the oven back in, or the stove back in, I want to cover this one. And I'm just going to use the, the fiberglass tape and I'll just go over that with some putty. Now the backsplash here is going to get hardy backer on it so I'm not going to bother 
filling these holes. Just cut nice pieces out and I will cut a, a section out for the two uh, outlets that are on this wall. And that's it. It'll be a nice clean wall and I don't have to worry about dealing with that. Alright, so that'll have all day to, to dry. Everybody. So I hope you enjoyed hanging out with us tonight. If you did, please give this video a great big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please press that little red subscribe button down below and follow along with us and share this video with your family and friends because one day Kevin and I will be back together vlogging. <laughs> Someday. I promise. No way. Bye. Hi, I don't want. I live in a big I sleep. I don't want. I make a good This is Ola. I like a good day at night. You are such a drama queen. Um, okay, say goodbye. Goodbye. Say goodbye. Bye. Say goodbye, Pa. Bye, Pa. Say goodbye, Reet. Bye, Reed. <laughs>